Last week, when I bought the Huawei Pocket Printer, I noticed two new AI Wi-Fi cameras. Today we will buy one of them and test it. There are two different models, which are almost identical. The only difference is that one of them can rotate in 360 degrees. Both cameras have a lot of interesting features, which we will discuss later. This is the model which I like. Both cameras are currently sold for 300 yuan, which is $45. Now let's go to buy one of them from the wholesale market. Now we are at the wholesale market. Here are sold most of the Huawei's gadgets. This is the camera, here is sold for $30. Now let's go to unbox it. Here we go, AI capabilities, 360 degree rotation, Full HD, these are just some of the features which this camera has. Now let's see what's inside the box. This is the manual, which is only in Chinese, however the app supports English, but is still not entirely translated, as you will see later. We also have a charger, wall mount and 2 meters long micro USB cable. This is just for powering the camera, so I guess in this case we don't need a cable with USB Type-C. And this is the camera itself. I have to mention that this camera, even though it's sold by Huawei, it's actually manufactured by a different company, but sold under their brand. Xiaomi also does the same with many of their products. The camera has a microphone and speaker. The speaker is loud and can be heard clearly inside the room. However, this camera is not water resistant and can't be used in an open area. The camera works with the Huawei Smart Home app. You can see the number of smart devices which are supported in this app, there are quite a lot. This camera is called AI Full View Camera. Right away I want to mention that this camera currently won't work with iOS devices. Maybe because it's still a new product, there is no support for iOS. If you check inside the app, you can't find it in the list of smart devices. This camera is packed with a lot of features. Let's check some of the most interesting. The AI features include motion tracking with different levels of sensitivity. The camera will also notice different sounds and will register them inside the app. From here you can turn on and off the LED indicator on the front. There are a few different options for the video resolution from which you can choose from, including Full HD. This resolution applies only to how you see the video in the app and how it saves into the phone. This doesn't control the resolution which is stored on the SD card or into the cloud. You can also broadcast your voice from your phone to the camera. This means that you can have a conversation with the person who you're watching. You can also take snapshots and record video inside your phone. Another cool feature is face recognition. The camera can recognize faces and you can search for these faces inside the videos recorded during the day. Here is how to insert the micro SD memory card. Now let's do some actual testing. Here is the app. You can control the camera with the virtual joystick. Turn it left, right, up and down. When you press the video recording button, you will start recording into the phone. However, the camera is always recording into the SD card.
I have to say, the motion tracking works surprisingly well on such a small camera. You can control the rotation of the camera from the display as well. And here is how it looks the video which is stored on your phone. This is the night vision test. I also made test in completely dark room and I can say I am surprised by the quality which comes from this camera. You can easily recognize people's faces in a 3 to 4 meter distance. One more thing, you can also use the Huawei cloud service to store your videos into the cloud. And you can also mount the camera upside down. I think this is a very interesting camera with a lot of features. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Don't be shy and I'll see you soon.